Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I am using the Polar Pals Stamps and Dyes, the Grassy Hills Border um, stencils, the Snowfall stencil, and then this Follow That Star stencil. Lots of stencils. Um, so I, this is the video, well this is the background that I had showed you the other day um, with the Santa card that I didn't end up using. So here I'm just applying Tombow Mono Multi Glue to, along the top edge of the hill I'm going to be using. Um, and this dries repositionable, so I'm just tapping my fingers along the top edge to make sure it's not still wet because it does dry permanent if you put it down wet. So once it's completely dry, it will be repositionable. Several people have asked me about this because I put it on the back of almost all of my stencils uh, and I just stick them back to the packaging. And typically I don't have any issue with them um, not maintaining their stickiness. I think there's maybe only been one or two stencils I've ever had to reapply it to. So I chose several different distress inks here and I'm going to do just kind of a random pattern. Uh, this is going to be the sky portion. And um, I just picked kind of what I thought would be fun colors to just kind of mix it up so it's not always blue, even though I love blue, you know I do. And of course I still use some blue in here, but I added in some pinks and purples and some teals too, just to keep it kind of different. Um, so Black Friday is coming. It's coming, people. Um, and so Honeybee actually on, I believe it's on Friday, Thursday. Is it Thursday or Friday? Um, anyway, they have four days of sales. So I think it's Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That would make sense. Um, they have four days of sales coming up. So um, super excited about that because some of them are great. And if you don't know, Honeybee not only has their own brand of stamps, which is wonderful, um, but they also carry a ton of other stuff like distress inks, like adhesives, papers. Um, they just like they carry so much, <laughs> so much good stuff. Um, here back to the inking. So now that I kind of have the whole thing filled in, I'm just going in with some of these darker colors and adding it around the edges. Uh, so I started with the Mermaid Lagoon and then Uncharted Mariner, and then I even went out to Black Soot um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, a darker halo, giving a center highlight in the center portion. And then I like to do all of my ink blending twice. If you watch my videos, this is not a secret to you. Um, and so it just gives me a better blend. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just going back through um, and kind of blending those colors out and making sure I'm happy with the way that they're looking. So yeah, so many sales. Um, so make sure that you keep that in mind if there is something that you need. Speaking of the Honeybee store, um, I am going to, well, let's talk about, let's talk about the other thing first. So the, yesterday, day before, in a previous video, I had asked you guys, like, is, was it the thumbnail? Because I noticed that my viewership was down. Um, and you guys all came back with such great information. You're so fantastic. Let's go back to the card. Um, so here I've left the hill stencil in place and now I am putting on the snowfall stencil. Again, you saw me recently use this a different way in the Santa card, um, but now I'm going to be using it um, just a little bit differently. So first things first, I'm going to go in with just a damp baby wipe and kind of blot it through the stencil. This is, you could just do this and it will remove some of the pigment. And then once you dry it down, you'll be able to see it so much better where it has removed the ink and the ink will be so much lighter. Um, so I am going to do this in combination with spritzing on some iridescent spray. Um, the one I used is from Hero Arts, but they, there's a couple of different people with different iridescent sprays on the market. Or you could use, um, you know, different distress sprays if you wanted to do a color. You can do, I think they even have like the, maybe it's the mica ones. Um, anyway, a lot of different options. So here I'm just using the iridescent. It is slightly pink in color. And then once I have that down, I'm just going to remove my stencil. Uh, it doesn't look like much now, but we're going to take the heat gun to it and 
really dry it down and then you're going to be able to see them all. You can already see as it's drying them kind of popping forward. But once it gets dry, um, it actually really shows up well. And it's so pretty because it's all shimmery and stuff. I love that. It's a like subtle way to just add a little bit more interest uh, into the background. So you might be wondering to yourself, like, Kelly, you showed us three stencils. And you are correct. I did show you three stencils. So I had to remove all of the stencils in order to dry it. And then I am going to use the Follow That Star. I did choose to put the stencil for the hill back in place uh, and use it really more as a mask this time around. So now I've taped this down and I'm going to go in with just some glitter paste. This one is by Hero Arts, but you could use the Nouveau one as well. Um, they have a clear glitter. Uh, I think Gina K has one also. Bunch of bunch of options on the market. This just happens to be the one that I have. And um, I used just a palette knife to put this on. And it's not, it's certainly not going to cover up my snowflakes, but it is just going to add some more kind of shine and sparkle to the background of the card, which I really enjoy. If you don't, that's totally fine. You can absolutely skip this step. You don't have to add the glitters, but I really liked, I really liked adding more sparkle. Um, one thing, uh, one word of warning, and I've told you guys this before, when I use this particular product or products like these, you need to wash them right away. Like wash your stencil, wash your palette knife, um, because otherwise if you let it dry on there, it is not messing around. It is like glue. Uh, it's really hard to get off once it's dry. So here you can see the whole background, all nice and shimmery shiny. I did have a little bit of bleeding um, on the top of my hill there. I will fix that shortly. And then just on the bottom, just so it wasn't just plain white, I'm adding just a little bit of shading to my snow with um, the shaded lilac. That is like my go-to for snow. Um, I've also used speckled egg and really liked that as well. Um, but especially since I felt like this sky was more purple, um, I felt like the shaded lilac went in nicely. In order to fix that little bleed that we had, I'm just going in with a white gel pen. Um, and I didn't have to, I really just had to do a, just a little line of it because uh, it wasn't that big of a big of a bleed. I'm going to be honest with you, by the time we're done with this car, you're not going to see any of it. It won't matter. So here is the background completed. And then here is the Santa that I originally was going to put with it. You guys saw this video a couple of days ago. Um, and they just, to me, they just didn't go. But they did go very nicely with these little polar pals, these little... Um, uh, polar bears. So I had colored these at a live that I did for Honey Bee, and I thought today we would do a different take on it. So this is a silicone craft mat that Honey Bee recently released, and it is intended for, um, the right-hand side is intended for perfect wax melts. So if you're into that, like perfectly round wax melts. But I'm going to use the left-hand side to stamp down my bear um, using our Be Creative Intense Black ink. And then I'm going to flip over my cardstock on top of it, and I'm going to apply really good pressure while holding it still with one hand. And this is going to give me a mirror image um, of the polar bear so that they will be facing each other, and I can kind of snuggle them in for just another way to use this stamp set. It worked so well. And I just wanted to show you here, I'm just going in with a baby wipe. I had no issues cleaning off my silicone. Um, so if you're into wax melts, this might be something that you're interested in. But also if you just need like a good travel silicone mat for ink blending and things, um, it's a really good size. So now that that is done, I'm going to go in with a marker that is safe for alcohols. Alcohols, <laughs> a marker that's safe for alcohol markers, <laughs> and um, you know, just make yourself laugh, just laugh and laugh at yourself. Life's easier that way. So, 
I'm just going to go in and outline this. The one I am using is an EK Success journaling pen. They are very hard to come by. I just happen to have a stash of them because I like them so much, but you can use a Copic Multiliner or a Micron and they are also safe for the alcohols. <laughs> um, so then once I was done outlining that, we're going to go into the Copic coloring. I already have the other one colored because I did that... Um, as a precursor to my live to make sure I was doing what I wanted to be doing. Um, so I am going to color this one the same way, just with a C1, C3, and a C5. When you're coloring an object white, you're really just adding the shadows. And so most of my shading is going to be down underneath because his head is down or her head is down. Um, and then her body is over her legs, so they'll be shading there, and then shading where her belly is tucked behind her legs as well. So relatively simple shading on this for both of them. I colored them exactly the same way. So anyway, back to... Um, you guys gave me some really good feedback and I totally appreciate your honesty. That is why like we're both invested in this where it's a mutually um, beneficial relationship. And so you guys all the time tell me like, I love that you keep it real and that you're super honest. And I love that you do the same thing for me. Um, and so since we are heading into Black Friday and there are sales coming up, I wanted to do a giveaway as a thank you. So I'm going to be doing a $25 gift certificate to Honeybee Stamps um, just, just because you guys are fantastic and wonderful and I appreciate you. Um, so that way you can get yourself a little something, you know, even if it's not in the budget, this will give you an opportunity to get yourself a little something and hope me, hopefully a little extra something if you do your shopping on Black Friday. So we're going to say, here's what we're going to say. I want you to leave me a comment. Um, and if you're watching on the Honeybee channel, please go to my channel to enter the giveaway. Um, you don't have to rewatch the whole video or anything like that, but leave your comment there so I'm not having to go through, you know, between two different channels. I will link it below. Um, so I want you to tell me one thing that you would like to see on the channel, whether it's a technique a maybe a color combination, a, a product that you would like to see, something that, you know, like do more watercolor, stay away from colored pencils, do, you know, like I, I want your genuine honest opinion. I do try to switch it up, um, you know, with watercoloring, with colored pencils, with, with different types of mediums so that it isn't always Copics. Um, because I realize that can be a bit much, especially if you're a person who's not a colorist. Um, but please be gracious because I am. So I'm trying to teach you the things that I know um, and also learn some new things myself. Uh, but a lot of, because I am producing more videos now, like a lot of it is coloring because that's what I do and that's what I enjoy. Um, so yeah, so leave me that and then I will close the comments. Um, uh, let's say Thanksgiving at midnight, Eastern Standard Time. Let's go with that. Um, so Thursday at midnight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And then that way I can pick a winner shortly thereafter so that I can get you your gift certificate in time for the Black Friday sales. Let's talk about these dies. So obviously the die fits normal on the polar bear stamp the correct way. But in order to cut it out from the other one and have them match, I'm actually going to match like hold my paper up and line up the die on the back side of my mirror image. And then I'm going to hold it there while I tape it in place and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And even though we're cutting from the back, it still works perfectly to cut them out. So I cut out all three of them. This, the darker bear, I actually colored as if he was in a night scene. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to do them the same color. Um, so here's the two white ones together, which is what I ended up using. Um, but you could, you know, mix it up and do a gray or a brown or a black, like whatever kind of bear you want. This is, he's a cute little guy in many colors. Um, but so here, just messing around with how I wanted to place them, I did like them better 
kind of like snuggled up to each other, especially with the sentiment uh, included in the set that says, you melt my heart. Um, I just thought that that was adorable and, you know, kind of fun. So I'm just fitting them in to each other. And then once I'm happy with the way that they fit into each other, I did apply, um, you'll see here in a minute, I just squeezed in a little bit of glue underneath the top polar bear's head. Um, I also, while I was die cutting, die cut these um, glitter, um, what are they, layering snowflakes. And so I use these as well on the, the Santa card. They're a good buy because you can you, you use them for so many things. So here I'm just finishing, I'm using my uh, honeybee tweezers to kind of poke out the little um, pieces that I missed when I was removing it from the die cutting. I'm pretty happy with the layout of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do my sentiment. The sentiment I did, I just did a white heat embossed on navy um, using our brilliant white ink to stamp in. I don't, this is my confession. This is my secret confession. I don't really like pigment inks. Not because I don't like the way they stamp. They stamp beautifully. I don't like cleaning them up. Um, and I feel like they just wipe all over the place. But I got to tell you that when it comes to embossing my images, this white um, is really helping them come out super nice. Like they're really um, solid and I like the way that they look much better. So I just do it. Um and I've been using a lot of pigment inks lately. Isn't that crazy? We used a whole different kind of technique with pigment inks for the Santa. Uh, it's wild around here. Sometimes you just got to embrace it, even though it might not, like the cleanup might not be your favorite. It's sometimes it's about the results that it delivers. And I am a fan of the results. Um, so yeah, I would be very interested to see what you guys are interested in, in doing, especially, um, you know, as we're heading into the new year, we've talked about a lot of things this year that I wanted to do. And I have some of those things in the works. It just takes time. Um, and so I'm working on, I'm working on those. I'm working on it. Uh, in the meantime, we'll still be, you know, making plenty of videos. So, um, as far as life goes, um, I told you recently Caitlin had an ear infection uh, and like we found it at her one year checkup and that's also where she got all of her, you know, one year vaccinations. So they put her on amoxicillin for her ear infection and she finished it two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And then yesterday when I got her up in the morning, I noticed that she had like some little red spots on her face. It almost looked like baby acne. And, but Caitlin has not, has never had that. Nathan had it a little bit when he was little, but she hasn't had any of it. And so I was kind of surprised to see it. And then, um, when I dropped her off at daycare, I just let her know, um, you know, just let me know if it gets any worse. And, so she was like, yeah, I kind of got better. And then when I laid her down for her nap, when she woke up, it was, it was back again. So last night after I gave her her bath, like I noticed it was now all over her legs, her feet, um, starting kind of on the back of her arms, a little bit on her chest. I was like, what is going on? And so then Eric was like, is it a delayed reaction to the chicken pox vaccine? And I was like, oh, I never even would have thought of that. Like, good thinking. Maybe that's it. So, of course, I do some Googling and I look at the images. And it looks close, but not exactly. And she's not itching or anything like that. And so I kept looking at the pictures. And then one of the pictures said something about an amoxicillin rash. And I was like, what is that? So then I did a little bit more research. And those pictures matched her rash a little more closely. Um, so apparently, even though you're not necessarily allergic, you can still get this rash when you take amoxicillin. Um, and it usually lasts anywhere between one and six days, but is usually gone by three days for most kids. It doesn't bother them. It's not painful. There's no treatment. It just shows up and then goes away. Um, so I started to get a little bit nervous because both of her grandmothers are allergic to penicillin. And so I was starting to get like a little bit ee, like worried, but she really doesn't seem to be bothered by it. This morning when I got her up, um, 
it's got it has gotten worse like her little face is so red her like it's all down her legs her little feety is like but again she doesn't really seem to be bothered by it so i'm hoping that it stays pretty mild and goes away relatively quickly because i just i feel like this poor girl if she if she could get it she's gonna get it like it just seems like that seems to be her plight in life um but man i hope she has a rock solid immune system when she gets older so we've colored in the edges of our um die cuts because you guys know that i how i roll and then i am using our um which ones are these winter the winter ones i think um how winter wonder that's what it is the winter wonder um gems and then i added a little bit of shimmers underneath my popped up bears and then that's it that's the whole card so please leave me your comment of what you would like to see on the channel i will pull a winner on um probably friday morning and then be on the lookout for that so that you'll be able to use it during the black friday sales which will be forthcoming um honeybee is so generous they have four days of sales so again i appreciate your time thank you so much for joining me and i will catch you guys in the next video bye